it's been a while it's annabelle i'm outside today i have my plant friends that's actually my sisters i've been doing my makeup differently than my last everyday makeup routine so i feel like this one is very fresh faced and very bright and i really love the highlight on this and it's a little bit late because i wanted to film this beforehand but this morning i just finished applying to university i was like spraying my art doing things like that mailing it out but i'm done now by the time you've seen this video i am done and uh, I could talk about that in the future in another video because I'm applying to art university So that's kind of irrelevant to right now as of now I want to show you this makeup look that I've been doing for a while. So let's get started So this is what I use on my hair and for my face. I've been using the Ibuki cleanser I love the pearly texture and unlike my older wash it leaves my skin very moisturized and smooth So it's not drying even though it kind of burns my eyes when I accidentally get it in there So I have to be careful so once it kind of looks like a ghost, you have to go in the shower and then rinse it off. And then I put on my regular lotion, which I skipped in the video because it's in my last routine. And then now for my makeup, I actually have a primer now. It's the color correcting one with like a lavender base. Even though I honestly don't see a huge difference, it just says it's brightening. So I just put it on anyway because it's a primer. After covering my face in that, I move on to liquid foundation. And this is a very nice medium coverage and I've been using this forever. So I put it on the spots where you can see my veins. I don't have an acne problem, I just have redness and like veins everywhere, like my eyelids especially. And it is paler than me, but I do like looking that shade. So that's why I have foundation all over my face. However, I still can't do without my Benefit concealer, so I have to put it on my dark circles and also on my eyelid because it gives it a nice base for my eyeshadow. An important spot is all over my nose because I have like pores on the underside, so that's that. Then once I'm through with that, I like to take my contour palette and the peachy shades that you see on the right bottom side and this flat brush and I dab it all over my face and maybe it's not supposed to be like a setting powder or like I don't know, a powdery foundation, but I like how it gives me that rosy complexion, so I literally put it all over my face because it is my pale shade. And then as usual, I like to sketch out my brows first before doing all my eye makeup, but this is still very tentative, so it just gives you an idea what your brows or the arc will look like for someone like me who has no eyebrows, so I kind of need to set in the shape. Nowadays for eyeshadow, I love to start with my bronzer. I take the really orange shade and I use this puffy brush to put all over the outsides of my lids just to kind of contour in a way and give that hollowness to your eyes. And also I've been very attracted to this warm peachy tone in general, so it's nice that it's matte. Then following up with that would be some shimmery eyeshadow just to balance out the matte. And I like to take a light rosy champagne first just to put over the lid as a base. And then afterwards to balance it out, I like to take a pomegranate one to just contour the outsides, give it more of an obvious color. Then on the inner lid, you want to put like a very pearly shade that just highlights everything and it's just beautiful. It gives your eyes like a whole spectrum of colors and has a lot of dimension that way if you have monolids like me. Then after that would be the bronzer part, and I used to use the more cold toned brown, but because I've been using bronzer on my eyelid, I love to take the same shade of orangey bronzer to put on my cheekbones. That way throughout your face, there's a sort of consistency with this warm tone that we're trying to go for. And then of course, something that I really really need is eyeliner. It just kind of completes this look. And don't forget to tight line because it's very obvious when you don't have liquid liner in between your lashes. Finally, after that, you can start on your brows, and I've actually been doing it kind of differently compared to my other super arced ones. It does still angle up, however, the other side of it, like the little tail, isn't as long. It kind of just goes up and stays that way, but I've been wearing my brows like this more recently, so that's just an update on that. And I don't have a lot of eyebrow hair, so in order to make the brows look natural, you want to come back with an angled brush to soften everything up, especially where the most inner parts where the brows start and also where they end. And yeah, that really frames my face, so brows are super important in my routine. The next would be highlight, and I've been placing it in between the corner of my eye and the nose bridge, which is very different from putting it on your eyelid, like in the very center of it or anything, because it just gives it a really nice dewy look. And then of course on the cheekbones above the bronzer and then I've been liking to place a tiny dot on my nose because it just gives it a nice reflection. 
And then when I like to go the extra mile, I take my Stila in the light palette. And the shade Kitten is the nicest highlight shade I've ever used. I put it in between my eyes just to blend that out and also my brow bone. And then next is mascara, and my curler is this tiny, like, half portion one, so it's easier for people with monolids and shorter lashes, things like that. I got it from Daiso, by the way, so I don't really know if they still carry it. And then I misplaced my Benefit Their Real Mascara somewhere, so I've been using the Tarte one more often, and it's very fuzzy. It doesn't have great coverage, so I have to go over and again and again just to get that effect. And I make this weird face when I get my lower lashes done. <laughs> but it really opens up my eyes when I finally do. And then next, I like to do blush. For my Tarte palette earlier, there was this little pink shade, so I just take this super poofy brush and just dab it on the apples of my cheeks here and there. I'm staying neutral with my lips today, but I do want color, so I'm dabbing instead of gliding the lipstick on. And then to highlight the lips, I'm just putting a little bit of lip gloss in the middle. It makes it very plump. And I chose one that has gold shimmer so that you're still staying in the palette of warm tones. And then of course, you know, I have to fix my brows, make it look good. And then to open up my eyes, I take a nude eyeliner to put on my waterline. So this is my routine nowadays. I just love how it looks like your skin is glowing and the warm tones makes it look very healthy and dewy. So if you like this look, then please give me a thumbs up if you want to try it out too. And let me know in the comments what you thought. And I want to see you in my next video, so please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!